you go with Castlevania for the Game Boy in my Super Game Boy. It's supposed to be quite a good version. Okay, move left and right. So whip. Okay, so Y and B are whip. And X does nothing and A jumps. between yourself and those. Seems to have quite good music. Do the whip crouch down as well. I've played a fair bit of Vampire Killer on MSX2. Great game. Time a ticking down there, so you can't. Oops. Oops. Well, there we go. I'm supposed to dodge that. Castlevania games are quite, um, ow. quite, um, fun to play. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at them. But I quite like this one. quite a good game. Um, obviously I'm not going to play for 10 minutes to, potentially 10 minutes to, oops, to get to the um, end of the stage. Or does it make, oops, make the game play too long? Terrible timing. I'll leave that just nip forward here. It's a bit of invincibility. This is um, quite a good looking game. Shows how good um, the Game Boy was, really. And the complexity of some of the, you know, how complex some of the games could be. Self to probably miss out some stuff there, but as you can see, it's not a bad little version of um, anyway, not a bad version of Cast Banner at all. Okay. 
And I had some time jumps. And I died. Um, an absolutely fantastic little game. Really pleased of getting that one. Um, I'll probably <coughs> play this using get my color Game Boy color out and play this. That'll be great. And here we have Super Black Onyx, <coughs> which is more than likely an RPG. We're not going to get very far, so. Choosing our hero. Okay, so we little door. Alright, so a little bit of a slight like dungeon master. Go through the door. or something. Nolan. Mage. so far, so... I'm not sure I'm supposed to be doing anything else when I actually do the attacks. Oh, I actually hit him that time. There we go. I think it might have been a two layer gauge. Life 19, gold 19, karma, evil. Okay, hero, mage, monk. Okay. Oh, there's nothing wrong with this game at all. This is nothing wrong with a little dungeon crawler like game like this. This is quite playable. Alright. Let's move on to the next game. I'll definitely be playing this one, so let's try the next one. Go okay, with our completely unknown Konami game. So this could be um, fun. Okay, I seem to have 
change characters. Maybe. Playing some sort of dice game, and I don't know what I'm doing. So, a game that requires further explanation or exploration, um, maybe a read up of the instructions, but it doesn't look too bad. Alright, let's try the next game. This one is um, Nemcock Classic, which is a tennis game. So, go to the title screen, put some demo mode. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And so, characters, right? Surface. Let's go for one. Oh, I pretty much selected the same character for my opposition by the looks of it. Okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Double fault. Let's try again. No. Am I doing it too early? volley going there for a second. Oh. Yeah, and as usual the computer's far better at Yeah. Well at least they can get faults. No, missed time my shots. Oh that's not a bad looking little tennis game. We won't dwell too much on it because um, you'll otherwise people get far too much amusement without me doing that. Alright, let's try the next game. Next we have Mappy Land. Okay, so I can jump. Yep, yeah, just like So, just like in the um, other game, you use the trampolines to. Levels. We have to collect these ice creams. And you're not supposed to get the other characters catch you. Oh, 
So, we need to go up further. Oh dear. I can't let Mappy Land go that short. Let's have another go. So it's got a lot cuter characters than the um, original game. close to getting all of them now. time on that one but um excellent little game really really like that one let's try the next one okay here we go with Capcom uh, Generations Volume 3 uh, so there's a museum uh, which is like history on the games the games uh, stereo for the music I think you've got to get used to a Japanese PlayStation you use the zero button to select things um, I'm not going to play every game here, um, we'll just do a couple just to have a look because we've got a lot of titles to get through. Uh, the loading times aren't too bad, I had a bit of a play with this the day the box arrived without recording. Um, now, credits, press the select button, and press the start button. You just use the pad. And uh, the X button to fire, which goes well. It's a very okay, faithful version of Galaxian. Press the arrow, the green arrow, 
and that gets your in-game menu up. You can reset. Oh, you press the wrong thing. Use the circle. Yes. Right, go back to the title screen. Now when we ring up the menu, we have exit. Which will take us back to the... Okay, back to the menu again. <coughs> um, I didn't have a memory card in the PlayStation, so it was stuck looking for that. Um, pole position or Mrs. Pac-Man? We'll go for pole position. One more game. I know I have a lot of these collection ones and you know I've probably got the same arcade games on multiple things. I mean I've got the Namco Classics on PlayStation 2 as an example. Just like the original arcade games. And these collections interest me. So here we go. So this is probably going to be an extremely poor um, demonstration of the position. It's quite different playing with a controller. Buttons to change gears. Jump gate by the looks of it. Um, I'm probably loading at the moment. Mm, I've got a fingerprint marks on this disc. <coughs> Almost guarantee you we've got some fingerprints and dirty stuff on the disc. Or skip. Skip that. It's, I mean, I don't have any idea of what sort of game this is. Okay. So let's see if we can 
run the last enemies. Oh, well, this isn't um, a too bad game. I would play this some more. It's not too badly done. game it looks quite cool I will definitely be playing this once more highly recommend it all right let's try another one here we go with the first of our Ridge Racer games Ridge Racer Ridge Racer Revolutions <laughs> Galaga 88 whoa loading oh we need to play it too <laughs> how about that cool I've got about the tradition of having uh, loading screens on Ridge Racer games. <laughs> That's quite cool. So Ridge Racer Revolution, let's go for it. Let's just get into it. See how bad I can do it this with it. Take it. Got automatic gears. I didn't. I didn't even check. Well. I said, don't know the course, so. quite smoothly, there's no, you know, not too, any noticeable pop-up or anything like that. Extended. Oh, this would be a quite a good one to, to get into a bit more. Just because I'm rubbish at it at the moment. Nothing wrong with this at all. Come in, attack! 
<laughs> I'm afraid they are. It's kind of a bit rubbish. Completely, and you will be past me. Get ready to block. Great work. I even surprised myself. Actually, remember to break this time. So I've taken. I need to at least hold on to this position to progress. Great work. Oh, well, this is encouraging. Managed to get up to fourth. to keep it. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, I do actually like racing games. Not that you've seen me do a lot of racing games, but um, yeah, I'll definitely enjoy playing that one. Let's try the other one. Fine. <coughs> Here we go with the Ridge Racer Type for R4. Lovely intros. Unfortunately, that's going to have trouble, so I'm going to just skip the lovely intro. R4. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll just go for that. Grand Prix. But we'll just race for a little bit. Welcome already to the Real Racing Roots 99 Grand Prix. Consists of three stages with a total of eight races. Stages one I'll and two. I'll skip directly to the race. Races. Real Racing Roots 99 in Helter Skelter. race properly. And there's some music in this, so... Whoops. Ow. Sorry, got thrown off by the talking about the music. Um, I haven't found out how to turn it off yet, so... And if you hear this commentary and you don't hear any music, it's because the YouTube re music removal tool worked. Otherwise, I don't care. It's fine. Somebody else can get the ads for this. Like the average racer game, I'm bound to be terrible to start with until I get used to the controls. Now, use the brakes. The car seems quite powerful. Gonna be fairly light on the controls. I really don't know the um, course of course. Oh dear. Course. It's not a bad racing game though, I like this. Racer is more arcadey than Gran Turismo. Okay. Actually, he's 
my brakes for once there. Surprise, surprise. Well, this is a most definite, ex definitely excellent game to get for the PlayStation. I said, didn't have this for the Power Region one. I hardly got any racing games at all for the Play Plus PlayStation, so. I do have a few for the PlayStation 2. allows me to progress. Um, definitely a game I will be playing some more of. Um, one of the main ones I wanted out of this lot for the PlayStation. So um, I will skip the last three games as they're only so-so games. Uh, Zork I probably won't be able to play. It's more for a novelty factor. Um, and uh, the RM Classics isn't much. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video and these gameplays. Um, most certainly had a lot of fun uh, playing these games. Uh, lots of interesting new additions to the collection. Um, oh, also, the um, uh, Panasonic 3DO works perfectly as well. Uh, but there's enough gameplays in this video and I didn't want to make it any longer. I'll maybe have a session of um, just get playing 3DO games at some stage because I've, I've had 3DO games come in and I haven't been able to play them because my other 3DO hasn't been working. But it worked perfectly first time, so very happy to have that. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed watching this video. Thanks to all my subscribers, and I'll catch you all next time.